Verse 7 says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do you got that? Now let's take that just real and we're going to move on here. But I want you to see this. Verse 7, first, before resisting the devil, you must submit yourself to God. If you don't submit yourself to God, you cannot resist the devil. And if you don't resist the devil, he will not flee from you. So the first key here is to submit yourself unto God. Now, the main way, now understand, there's obviously when you get born again, you make Jesus Lord of your life. And, well, if you really make him Lord of your life, then you are submitting your will to God's will. And not just at that moment, but from then on. You make him actually Lord of your life. Therefore, you will do what he says. But now, understand here that when it says submit yourselves to God, that does not mean to submit yourself to some arbitrary idea or voice in your head. It literally means to submit yourself to his word. Why? Because his word is his will. And if you submit yourself to him, you cannot say, I'm submitted to this person and not be submitted to their word or their will. It is impossible. So if you're going to submit yourself to God, you're going to submit yourself to his word, and you're going to begin doing his word and obeying his word, right? Now, he says, first, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Okay, what does that do? That actually takes you back to verse 6. Because he says he gives more grace. He resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So if you submit yourself to God, you're humbling yourself. See, you are humbling yourself when you submit yourself to God and to his word. And that, that, that ability to humble yourself is you saying, you know what? You, more than, you know more than I do. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm thinking. But I also know that you know more than I do. So just because I'm feeling something... I'm going to assume now, I'm going to submit myself under, under what you said, and I'm going to take what you said over what I feel. That, that's called submitting. Okay? So that means whenever your body is saying one thing, but the scripture, God said, by his stripes you were healed, what do you say? See, to submit yourself, you have to go along with God and go, you know what? I know what my body feels, but God said, by his stripes, I'm healed. Therefore, I'm submitting myself to his word, and you stand on that. And when you do that, your body will have to change. It's just that simple. Now, I don't know why a lot of people think that there's some secret, there's some magical secret about walking with God and walking in his ability to keep you well. I don't know why we think that, other than then people just listen to too much Christian television. So, well, that's... Still better than listening to the other stuff, generally speaking. <clears throat> but the other stuff, they just call God names on Christian television. They actually lie about it. So, okay, let's move on. 